All right, let's look at an application using uh, the falling object formula. Uh, what we've got here is out in the desert, we've got the uh, wily e. coyote up on a cliff, and he's about to launch himself, trying to catch the roadrunner. Put the roadrunner down here. Not a good drawer. All right, and he takes off, and we know that after three seconds, he's a 300 feet in the air. So what we want to do is we want to use that to figure out how high the cliff is. That will be the initial height. And we'd also like to know how fast he's taking off. So that would be the initial velocity. Okay. So when we're dealing with the quadratics, we've got a formula here. That's the vertex form. Now most of the time you'll see this with the x and the y here and the H and the K here with the H and K standing for vertex. I've reversed this a little bit using the H for the height in the falling object formula. In this case, the X and the Y will be the coordinates for our vertex. So let's take this and plug some numbers in. Okay. Using our falling object formula, we know that the A value, that's going to be the force of gravity. So that's going to be negative 16, just like we've been using. And then our x would be the time, measuring time this way and height that way. So at three seconds, he's at his highest point. And that's a height of 300 feet. Okay. And so now what we want to do is multiply this out and put it in the regular uh, form for a falling object. And then we can look at it and identify the initial height, initial velocity. So let's FOIL out the t minus 3 squared. That'll give us t squared minus 6t plus 9 and then plus the 300. Then we're going to distribute the negative 16. So negative 16 times negative 6, that's going to give me a positive 96. And then negative 16 times 9, it's going to give me negative 144. Okay. And then we just simplify. So 96t plus 156. Now that it's in the regular form, we know that the number with the t is our initial velocity. So we know he took off at 96 feet per second. And we know that the number here on the end is our initial height. So this tells us that the cliff was 156 feet high. 